Alrighty, legends, how are we all doing? Baz here. Your man, May and Donald's with me. Another craft whiskey, which that'll become my little hobby, I think. Eh? I think so, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some of yeah. them. So many. Van and Waterville, Victoria. So many Oh, well, not Waterville, sorry, Tim Boone, which is probably about half an hour from Waterville. 60%. So she's got a fair old bike. Well, I'll wait until you see what you say after you've tasted what you, what you say about the bike. <laughs> That's Usually at sixty percent, you'd expect a bit of fire in the first yes, taste. Yes, it is, but it's that aftertaste. It's yes. oh, the aftertaste be nice. Yes. Now, I'm going to steal your thumb because you explain this one too. I'm going to pinch it. Okay. Cucumber is also a good thing to have on your plate. A bit of apple, because that also between whiskies will clear your palate. So I'm just going to steal that one and take it as a credit you, for Baz because I don't do get that. many. Is and, that uh, true, Baz? That's excellent. I'm, I didn't know that. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, I'll pour away and hand it over to you. Grand. So, um, I've, um, I must admit I have had a little taste of this whiskey before, um, and 60% ABV, as I say, you'd expect it to have a little bit of fire. And sure enough, on the first taste, yeah, it's a bit spicy in there. But if you watch the video on how to taste uh, whiskey with uh, with Marty, yeah, 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 yeah he'll yeah, explain yeah. exactly how you taste the whiskey in that first you taste. Want some more uh, the water might be great, but you can okay. explain why that's uh, that's so good with No, no, I'm just going to actually disappear, have a swig or something else and come back with some water. <laughs> right, you come back with some water. I'll carry on and uh, talk about the, the, the cheese then. Um, this whiskey here, once you get over the initial uh, spice in that and you let the palate uh, acclimatise it, you uh, find all the fruity notes coming through there. Really, really like Christmas cake. It's a really beautifully smooth whiskey. For a 60% whiskey, it's a beautiful whiskey. It's got full of flavour, absolutely uh, steaming with flavour. So what I've tried to pair this with is something that is really got a lot of flavour to it, a lot of bite to it. And I've played the, uh, um, paired this with a vintage cheddar. Again, a vintage cheddar from Australia as well. So the whiskey's from Australia, and the cheese is from Warrnambool Cheese and Butter in Australia well, as well. Hey, half an hour away from each other. Awesome Exactly. Mixture. I thought to myself, well, why not try that? Yeah, yeah no. Beautiful. So this cheese, um, vintage cheddar, matured for 32 months. So it's oh, getting up. Whiskey. I really, really like this. It's, it's, yeah, I'll sorry, you continue on. Yeah, no, no, you carry on. I'm just going to play with the, with the cheese here. You carry on with the whiskey. Tell me a bit about the whiskey. That's, look, the flavours are, are amazing. I can't. We, we did put, a, I think, when um, I was down in Victoria, a bit of a tasting up when we did the tasting. Now, they've had four very nice whiskies, but this one just blew me away because usually when you get a, a 60%, it's usually that aftertaste is a bit bitey, it's a bit. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. And this one was, you have that, but then you have a sweet aftertaste, aftertaste. And then every single person, I've got it, and this is 100% honest, I have not come across a single person yet that doesn't like it. Mm. Mm. Whether, I've definitely had a, had, a, had a couple of people that have taken that first bite and gone, oh my God, that's no. Yeah. But then they, and I said, we'll put water with it. And then they put a drop of water with it, or two drops of water. It's like, oh my God. And then I said, okay, put another two drops of water. They put another two drops of water and it stretches it even further. Yeah. It's the most, okay, I'm Aussie. I'll admit to that, you know, well, Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. But this would have to be the most complex whiskey I think I've ever had, uh, uh, as far as how far it goes. Yeah. Would yeah. you agree or disagree? Being I'm Scottish as you are. Being Scottish, you know, I have to be true to my king's folk. But this is a beautiful whiskey, and absolutely, and I understand what you're saying. Yeah, it's, it's um, a lot of people think that you shouldn't put water with whiskey, but actually, water, uh, a few drops of water in some whiskies does open up the flavour. Oh, and this one, it opens it up so much. I mean, look, honestly and truthfully, as I said, you know, whiskies we all love, hate whatever we want with whiskies, but I'm, I haven't come across someone yet that doesn't. Yeah. I've had a couple that have said, oh, I don't like that, and I said, oh, yeah, put some water with it. So you and Danny are going to do this one, aren't you? So. Yeah, yeah, I think we're done. Or you're going to put it up, I don't know. It's yeah, there I don't think it's on the, on the side. Oh, it's on, yeah, it's yeah, on, yeah, on yeah. yeah, but it's going to be up soon. So I think Danny was exactly the same. He's, he's not a, yeah. he's not, well, yes, you know, he's not really into those, those heavy pen and heavy whiskies, yeah. but he was quite the same. And he was probably the one that stretched it out the most. I think he ended up putting it. Yeah. I'm going to say six drops in this whiskey. Yeah. And he just kept stretching, stretching. It just changes. Yeah. It's, just, yeah. it's, it's, a, beautiful, it's, it's a beautiful whiskey. Well, it's certainly one that's good on my shelf, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, and, and that's what everyone else has said. Yeah. Well, no, I, as I said, I think I said it in, in when we were doing it. I know someone yeah. from the whiskey probably hasn't opened it yet. Yeah. We've only been a fool to yourself. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. It's amazing whiskey. It's, it's, yeah. I can't 
Explain. When, I, when I try to peel this whiskey with cheese, I'm thinking to myself, geez, what, what am I going to do here? Because it's it's got so much character about it, it's got so many different layers to it, um, there's so many different cheeses that I think could go with it. And I will try to find something um, that had you know, perhaps walnuts in it, because that nuttiness with the fruit flavours there would really go well. But I chose this um, extra mature, this vintage mature cheddar, because that's got really full flavour, um, savoury notes in there. Would you? Um, and that is paired with this fruity flavour. Give that a go. Oh, look at you know, try to actually blend these like what you want. Oh, it is. <laughs> As I always do. Beautiful. Can't, and it's really good that you've paired something from two regions, like the same sort of area. Same region. Mm. Well, this one, you know, it, it, you threw me a curveball on this one, to be honest. You really did. That's it. I never had it. a whiskey like it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed trying this. I've never had a whiskey like it. Um, both, so far, both craft whiskies I've tried, like our Carol that we did the other day, last time. Mm -hmm. And this one, I can't say I've been disappointed. No. And, uh, um, I know we're a young country, I know our craft whiskies, as far as that goes, are all young whiskies and all that sort of stuff, but oh, the flavours they're getting out of them. And, and, and maybe, look, maybe we need to look, start a game with sweeter. You know, maybe we need to look at pairing that with a chocolate or. Down that way. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, yep. There's a lot oh, of I would not, certainly would not be offended if we gave that a crack and give that a go. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, I can't fault it. I can't. And I think that, I mean, you know, I think I'm right in saying that um, a lot of the distilleries in Australia are craft distilleries. They're not owned by the big boys. No, I think Tas there big. might be some in Tasmania. Yeah. Um, you've got, well, you've definitely got some. I mean, every, everything has a niche market. Yeah, the, I think the difference between the Australian artisanal market and the Scottish artisanal market is also the, the smaller distilleries in Scotland are actually owned by the big boys. Oh. They're allowed to do their own thing, kind of, but within certain limits. The boundaries, whereas, yeah. Yeah, whereas you, you've got an open book here in Australia, and some of the stuff that comes out of Australia is just. Oh, and the, as a look, as, even from a tourist point of view, like, you know, if you want to go and have a look at these places, it's. They're so open, welcoming. Yeah. They're like, you know, yeah. they're like, yeah. well, I think it was Laura, I think with name, wasn't I? Apologize if I got it wrong. From to me, and she, you know, she explained everything to us. She's more than happy to come out and have a chat to us, yeah. all that yeah. sort of stuff. And okay, and that's, that's on the on the internet, Instagram page as well. Yeah, yeah. And, and and you pay, okay, you pay for your tasting, but you buy a bottle that comes off your tasting. Ah, oh, oh, sorry, it comes off your bottle. Wrong way around. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think. In years to come, Australian craft whiskies are going to be a very, very good thing. And I think whenever you're around a craft whisky, you've got to go and try them. Go to your local whisky lounge, you know, you've got them everywhere now. We've got Cairns, we've got our favourite one down here, we've got Colorado, Victoria, you've got Melbourne, you've got Brisbane, you know, they're popping up everywhere. So, so pop into them and, you know, ask, ask to start getting some, some craft whiskies on their shelves because you're not going to be disappointed. They're not going to be disappointed, yeah. I don't think. Yeah. A lot of the good whiskey um, bars have got a lot of the, 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 the craft whiskey. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, well, all I can say is give it a crack, give it a go. You won't be disappointed. I think actually uber has got someone on down there now. I can see oh, yeah. You've got to get, <laughs> well, he was another one I gave a taste of. I think, actually, I think Eva might have been the one that tasted it first. I can go, and then when he sees put water with it, it was like, yeah, yeah. okay, you got me there. Yeah. I'm going to put a wee bit more to the Oh yeah, look, I'll see, let's see what you think of it. Um, Nick, I'm uh, not Nick, Vince, but yeah. we're gonna actually going to get invited us to his house to have all of his whiskey collection, have a tasting. He may regret that, but we're going to give it a go. But he tried this and yeah, I think he's getting a bottle of it. But you look at legs on that. Wow. Mm. I love it as it is. I don't want to put water with it, but as I say, everyone else says. It's absolutely delicious. It is, eh? You can't. I'm, so, I'm, I'm probably hanging out to find someone that doesn't like it. Just yeah. so I can get there and say, okay, why? As I said, like, you know, I've had my disagreements with your whiskey, I've had my disagreements yes. with Danny on whiskeys. Yes. Um, but this one, so far, we're all agreeing. Martin's probably one that maybe I can get him to taste and see what he thinks. That would be a thing, yes, Martin or oh, Jimmy. Jimmy, yeah, Jimmy, probably Jimmy. Yeah, he's probably going to give a crack, see what he thinks. But yeah, it's craft whiskey in Australia, rock and roll. And try it with cheese and other fruits. Okay, so, say goodbye, Baz. Bye, Baz.